In this video, we're going to work on drawing on the screen, and then the module and the exercise, you're going to work on being creative with your drawings. So first, you need to bring up Snap again, clearly. This time, we're going to focus on the pen button over here. So let's look at that a little bit, and then we're going to be able to use motion and pen back together to draw on the screen. So notice first that they're different colors. Each one of the different modules has a different color, the little sort of modes here that you can, like motion was in blue, pen is in green. Um, You've got the ability to clear the whole screen, which is really important after we start doing some drawing. You'll discover you need to do that. And then you have the ability to put your pen up and your pen down. Now, what I want you to do is think about over here in this little screen that there's a virtual pen that's either touching the screen and you can draw, or it's up in the air and it can move around, but it doesn't actually leave a trace. You can change your pen color. You can change it by using raw numbers. And you can change your shade, and you can change how wide it is. You can also do some stamping. That's fun if you want to draw a specific shape and stamp it all over the screen. Okay, so for this, we're going to just draw a couple of things on the screen so that you can see how to do that, because the exercise for this one is to learn to draw something creative. First of all, we're going to have to combine the pen module and the motion module so that we're drawing around on the screen. So let's start, we'll start with that flag again, just so that when you click the flag, things happen. And now, let's start with a really important thing. Every time I click the flag, I want it to go to the middle of the screen. If you have ever taken a computer graphics class, which I doubt because you weren't supposed to have programmed before if you were taking this class, but if you've ever taken a computer graphics class, you might wonder where 00, zero is on the screen because in a computer graphics class, it's in the upper left-hand corner up here. But on this, 00, zero is actually the middle. It's much more like the graph that you had in math class. So if you imagine some axes right here, 00, zero is right in the middle. So when the flag is clicked, I'm going to send it to the middle. Then I'm going to have it put the pen down. Perhaps before I put the pen down, I will set the color. I'm going to draw in maroon. Put the pen down, and then I'm going to move. I'll just do that simple program so you can see it. Ha! Ah, it's not drawing anything. Any guesses as to why? We have a problem. We're going to take this part out. I used that just to show you where the middle of the screen was. There we go. Now you can see that it's drawing. OK, so a few other things you need to know. Um, the sprite right now, we're using this arrow sprite, and I'm using it on purpose so you know which way you're pointing. And so let's talk about the pointing. There is a block over here that says point in direction. Now, again, when we talked about how this looked in math class, and I said if you could imagine an imaginary axis like this, this was zero, zero. Well, you might imagine that then this would be zero degrees, if you remember your math class. And this would be 90, but that's actually not quite true. This is 90. <laughs> this is zero. So let me give you that demo. We're going to put it in point in direction 90 at the end. So you'll notice it stays where it is. Now what if I change it to, oh, actually, we should also point out that it actually tells you. So it tells you 90 is right, negative 90 is left, zero is up, and 180 is down. So we're going to point it up at the end of this. See? And now, it's going to start drawing upward. Let's put our sprite back in the middle. I'm going to do a reset. I'm going to drag another one of these over here. I'm going to drag when space key is pressed. And then I'm going to do a clear screen. And whenever we clear the screen, we're also going to move back to the middle. We're going to directly go. So now if I hit the space key, oh, that's interesting. Let's talk about that. It cleared the screen, and then it moved it, but we never put the pen up. So if we put that little pen up in there, clear the screen, pen up, and then we go, it disappears. That's what you want. Let's briefly talk, since you're about to make an interesting drawing, about the other ways that you can move around the screen. So you can use Go, which is what I use to clear the screen, and that moves you directly there. You can also use Glide. So if I, instead of doing Go to X, I'm going to use Glide, and you can see that it moves you there. It's very entertaining. First, we have to move somewhere. So we moved. Now I'm going to hit the space bar, and now we glide back to the center. That might or might not be useful in your drawing program. I'm going to stick with Go. You can also just change X. You can increment X. So you can set X to a specific number, and X is this direction, and Y is this direction. And you can just either change them by a specific number, or you can set them to a specific number. And there's another nice little thing that says, if you get on the edge, bounce. I'm going to use that. So we're going to draw something up there. And we hit the edge. See? We just go back and forth. 
Now we need something interesting to draw. How about if we draw the OU logo? Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna leave it in maroon, or at least as close to maroon as I can. And, hmm, let's ponder this. Let's get rid of this. The OU logo probably shouldn't start in the middle of the screen, right? So instead of putting the pen down, I'm actually going to go to somewhere in the upper left corner. Then I'm gonna put my pen down. And then from there, I need to draw approximately a circle to be the OU. So I need to move and turn and move and turn and move and turn until I've gotten all the way around the circle. There are more complicated and prettier ways that we can probably work on this, but those will come with later screencasts. So for right now, we're just gonna consider that we, in order to go around in a circle, we're gonna to have to move and turn a lot. So let's start with what direction we should be pointing. I'm gonna draw the OU starting by pointing to the right. And then I'm going to move more than 10 pixels this time. Let's go 100 to the right. And then I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn to the right. So I'm going down the bottom of the U and I need to turn 90 degrees. I'm gonna move, let's call this 200. We're gonna do the same thing. So we can go all the way around. It was gonna look a little bit more like a square. It's not gonna look completely like an OU, but I think you can live with it. One more turn to get back to the top. And then another move. Okay, so let's see what that does. Ooh, we seem to have made a mistake here. So what might that be? Well, if you go into the turns and you look, we're turning right and then we seem to be turning left. That was an accident on my part. Let's fix that so we're all turning in the right direction. In fact, I wanted to turn right. So let's stick with, let's stick with our turn right that I just pulled out. But let's fix our turn lefts to actually be turn right. So you notice when I drag them over there, they just sort of disappear. It's a good way to get rid of a block if you don't like it anymore. Turn right, move, and then we have to fix one more of them. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. First, we're gonna clear the screen. We click our flag and we get a nice O. Okay, now we need to make our U and it needs to be an interlocking U. So you'll note that we're ending up in this upper left-hand corner. In order to get to the U, we might actually wanna move our O up some. So let's try that first. We're gonna move X more over to the left. And I'm gonna move Y to be a bigger number. Okay, clear the screen and Whoops, too far. Clear the screen, try it again. There we go. Okay, so now we want the U to start about the middle of the O. Now, if I just drag the pen over there and tell it to go, it's gonna draw a line from the corner of the O down to the beginning of the U. That would be a little bit silly. So let's remember to lift our pen up and now go to the middle of that so I am starting up at negative 100 and 100. So the middle of it, and we moved, it's 100 steps wide. So the middle of it should be at negative 50 and zero because I made it 200 tall. Now we'll put the pen back down and just go straight down the U. So we're gonna point straight down and then just make it the exact same size. We're gonna go 200 steps. We're gonna turn right this time, not left. 90 degrees. Go 100 steps more to the right. Turn right 90 degrees one more time. And go 200 steps up, and that should be our logo. Clear the screen. Uh-oh, what did we do wrong? Let's fix our turns. We turned the wrong way. So instead of turning 90 degrees, we're gonna turn negative 90 degrees. Let's try that again. 
That looks a little better. It only has one little problem left, and that is that you can't see the bottom of the U. So let's try just one more thing, and that is that we're going to move it up to 150 here. So it starts a little higher, and then we're going to move the Y here to 50. Okay? And there is your sample drawing, Boomer Sooner.